in this video to show you guys the difference between a sealed sautillo and a non-sealed sautillo tile. Sealing is the most important part of these particular tiles when you take them right out of the box because you're either going to stain them first or seal them or just straight seal them, you know, whatever direction you're going to go. Today I'm just trying to show you what they look like sealed, how they should work, how they should repel oil, greases, red wines, some of these things that you'll see over here. So. Uh, this tile here is a sealed tile um, you can see there's a sheen on it there's multiple multiple layers of sealer on it to build it up so that there's that nice even consistent um, seal on it um, this tile you can see there's nothing on it uh, it's pretty raw right out of the box other reasons you seal it like this is because it works as a grout release so when you go to see when you go to grout it the grout doesn't just suck right into it and you know because these things are like sponges um, that'll suck the moisture right out of the grout and make it really hard to grout so that's why you got to pre-seal them and that's called a grout release but today we're talking about indoor tile not outdoor tile so we're being more sealer specific which is the topical coating sealer here so I got some good old-fashioned olive oil here I'm gonna put a little of this on here for you. Woo! I got some uh, oil I use for my lawn mower. Dump some of this on here too. I don't wanna use too much. This stuff costs a couple dollars. Just kidding. Got a little vinegar here. This gets a little more runny, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. This really won't. It was a waste of time anyway. Or vinegar does nothing like I mentioned in other videos. It's good for salads and pickling shit, but here's a little red wine, a little cooking wine that I use when I'm doing my thing. We'll show you that the wine won't stain this either. If I can get it to stay there. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to repeat the same one on this tile. I just wanted to give that a head start so it can sit for a while before I show you. And you'll see this one's going to pretty much, even probably with this red wine, it's going to start to stain like right away. You can see how it immediately just absorbs and sucks in. So imagine you're at your house, you've been there for years, your sealer starts to wear down in your traffic areas and in your kitchen. You start to get these dark spots, well that's what's happening, your sealer is wearing off. Oil's just now being able to go right in and out of the sealer. And once it does this, they're almost unfixable, it doesn't go away, I can't strip it out, I can't clean it out, I can't use a poultice to get it out, I mean it's it's in there. So just to show, you can see how dark that already got, I mean this is pretty much... You know, this is obviously extreme, there's nothing on it, so it's going to happen right away. But trust me, I do job after job after job where the kitchen has tons of these little spots everywhere. Starting this big all the way up to big size like that. Where oil will pop in from the, either the cooking or just somebody drops something. So you can see this stuff pretty much soaks right in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of just wipe it off. But what I'm going to actually, I've actually done this and left it on for days just to see if the stuff really works. So trust me, it works. I put my reputation on it. And you can see the stuff just wipes right off. And as you can see, the tile looks exactly the same. It didn't even take off my good old handy writing I did here. I'm trying to keep you guys informed. You should subscribe. I post lots of good knowledge. Useful, tried, proven, and tested. You should share us. Tell your friends about us. They need to know. Because this goes for all. This is just a particular sautillos, but marble will do this. Slate will do this. Flagstone will do this. Any tiles. I've seen porcelain do it. Because it, even though it's not like a true porcelain tile, it does have a little porosity to it. So you can see, obviously, the oil just completely ruins it. You can see this one with a good seal tile, it comes back and does what it's supposed to do. You can clean it right off. The grout will do the same, like if there was grout around here and this was your house and you had the sealer and the grout, it would clean off the dirt, the oil, same thing. So just because I don't have grout here, it still will do the same thing. So if you found any of this information useful, you should share it. You like us, subscribe. See my subscribe. Do -do 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 -do. The kitchen's always the worst area. Most people live in their kitchen a lot, cooking, kids, that type of thing. So kitchens are always the worst. And then of course, traffic areas like hallways and entryways, things like that. Once you get to a point and the oil breaks through the sealer, it's uncleanable. I don't care what product you get, how magnificent that somebody tries to tell you it is, it's not gonna get it out. So make sure you keep them sealed correctly. What products are you using? Share, leave a comment. 
you find something that worked? If you did, share with us. Leave a comment. I'll try it out. I'm always looking for something better. 